Hello. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Cracking the Lightning Code. Things have been kind of quiet recently, so I wanted to wait until we hit the anticipated December 10th date before putting a new video out. We have just a few things to talk about. Firstly, of course, Wave 8 has been officially unveiled. The rumoured lineup of Dino Thunder Blue, Lost Galaxy Red, SBD Pink and Zeo Green is confirmed, and with it we can say with certainty that LGY is Lost Galaxy, and that Neptune is Pink, but that was already confirmed as we'll touch on. Also, nice to see that Leo comes with his Quasar launcher, mainly because that saved me from having to get him. The lack of an extended Quasar saber has me concerned though. If this figure sets the standard for the other Lost Galaxy figures going forward, that's not a good omen for them. Speaking of which, this lineup also makes it clear that we're getting Lost Galaxy Blue, LGY Earth, in Wave 9. We can put him along with SBD Green as figures we can be certain are coming in that wave. Still nothing to give us any idea if Zatanga is Zeo Yellow, but it continues to look likely. As for Mars Adam? Well, things have gotten interesting there in the past few weeks. Firstly, Toku Topics reported on Lightning Collection listings on Previews World, with the product numbers for Zuthtanga, LGY Earth, and Rad Mercury, along with BLM Mars in Space Black. It almost looks, from that, as though that figure was moved to Wave 9 rather than simply being dropped, taking the Mars Adam slot while the Mighty Morphin White restock took the slot it had vacated. With news around that time of the Walmart BLM Mars listing and finally unlocking, it certainly looks like In Space Black could be in Wave 9, though considering all the confusion about Wave 6's lineup earlier this year, with Mighty Morphin Green replacing both In Space Yellow and Goldar at points, I'd still not take it as 100% certain. And then, a few days later, Toku Topics found a bit of lading with Mighty Morphin Metallic Pink, and her code turns out to be not SRE Neptune Cat, or even plain Neptune Cat, but SRE 3 Neptune. The only thing that makes the code for this figure distinct from a standard Mighty Morphin Pink, from what the Wave 2 figure's codename would be in the new system, is a 3 being added to the season code. Now, hey, this sort of indicates those people way back when who thought Zuth could mean Mighty Morphin Season 2. The Hasbro clearly has variations in mind for the different seasons, it's just a matter of adding 3, or theoretically 2, at the end of the Mighty Morphin SRE code. This figure is a Season 3 variant on Mighty Morphin Pink, SRE Neptune, so it's SRE 3 Neptune. And, as mentioned earlier, this was our first proper confirmation that Neptune meant pink, even if the basic Dino Fury pink figure invariably being DRM Neptune already made it fairly clear. But that means a Mighty Morphin Metallic Black would be coded SRE 3 Mars, rather than Mars Adam. Unless Hasbro changed the metallic codes at some point, after all, it's looking ever more likely that the Wave 7, 8, and 9 listings found earlier this year weren't finalised, what with BLM Mars rocketing from one spot to another. We should expect them to be consistent. So, what does that mean for Mars Adam? Again, it could be that Hasbro changed the codes for Metallic Rangers between whenever the Wave 9 listings were inputted and when the bit of lading for Metallic Pink was written, and Mars Adam, prospectively SRE 3 Mars, is indeed Metallic Black. Or maybe it really is something else entirely, Black Dragon or what have you. We might be waiting a while to find out if the figure really is no longer in Wave 9. I can't imagine it's been cancelled altogether, so hopefully we'll see it down the road. Lastly, I didn't see this being announced anywhere, but I checked Toku Topics' lightning logbook, link in the description, while working on this video, and it looks like we now know which of the Monsters Wave 1 figures has which codename. King Sphinx is SRE Big Bang, and Pumpkin Rapper is SRE Milky Way. All of that means that our code key currently looks like this. We've got some identities confirmed, the addition of season distinctions for Mighty Morphin's SRE code, and no clue what Adam means anymore. This is probably it for now, until we either learn the identities of Wave 9 or Mars Adam, or we get new listings. As ever, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching!